Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Caitlin or Blue, and today we are going to be working on our brand new sketchbook, which we've already done a few pages in, uh, which have been posted to YouTube. Well, two of the pages have been posted to YouTube, which is my Monster High redesigns. So you may be like, oh, this isn't really a new sketchbook, but it is to me, even though I've had it for at least three months now. Um, I never got to introduce this sketchbook, and I never got to um, let you guys meet this sketchbook, so her name is Meraki, I believe that's what, I'm, I don't know, I'm not looking at it right now, I'm currently in a car uh, doing this voiceover, because, um, you know, and I haven't even drawn anything yet, I just wanted to talk about my new sketchbook. Uh, because I think it's that good and I also need to work on some video ideas because I'm about to be in school so I want to make sure that I have videos out for my YouTube channel and whatnot so yeah yippee and I saw somebody else doing a sketchbook tour in their car so you know what I think that it's valid if I just do a voiceover in a car um but yeah Anyways, this sketchbook my friend bought me uh, at Hobby Lobby. I can't tell you what it is. I just, you guys can look at the front cover, which, um, yeah, I'll make sure that I incorporate the front cover in here. Um, the stickers, uh, two of the three of them are going to be from Plush Ungai, uh, which she's really cool. Um, go follow her. She's, she's extraordinary of a person, super sweet, super friendly. A uh, very loving person, so yeah. Um, anyways, I have a postcard, po poster, postcard, I, whatever it's called from her as well, which I gave my friend one uh, as like a little matching best friend posters, because uh, it was like a Cult of the Lamb x My Melody, so I I got it because I love Cult of the Lamb and My Melody, and then I know my friend really likes Cult of the Lamb. Uh, I believe he finished it before... Uh, I gave him the poster, but then, like, the new DLC just came out, so I'm sure he's gonna get that. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about this sketchbook. So this sketchbook is the first sketchbook that's really, like, inspired me to work and push out my, um, creative art skills, um, which is very nice. Um, I did have one sketchbook that was sort of like that, but not really, yeah, which was, uh, for my dude year year which uh, we may do like a mini like sketchbook tour uh, but it would be like really short because I didn't work it like I worked in it for a while but then I went through a nice crispy breakup and it kind of didn't want me to touch the book anymore because like it was kind of like you know how like artists have like their muse he was kind of like he wasn't really my muse but like I did put a lot of stuff about him in the sketchbook so I was just like I don't even want to touch this anymore and even, like, my friends were in my sketchbook a lot, but, like, he, he just tainted it too much for me to want to work in it anymore. Though, I am ripping out the pages, and I'm going to be putting them in this sketchbook, which, uh, it's very different sizes. But this sketchbook, I'm also throwing in, like, little memory stuff in there. So, it should, like, hold more meaning to me, and it is going to be more meaningful to me, just saying. Um, and, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I have some goals from this sketchbook, like... Uh, I want to have, like, a certain requirements met, which you guys will see whenever you guys watch my Meet the Artist page. Because I want to start doing that every sketchbook, have a Meet the Artist, that way you guys can kind of get a feel for who I am in each sketchbook. Uh, not like I'm going to change much, but I feel like my goals and uh, the whole entire, like, my vibes may change. Because I'm now 18, I'm now considered an adult, and once whenever I get a job, I'm going to have my own money. Which, that means that I'm going to be able to spend it on some clothing items that I want. And expand my wardrobe to how I want to look. And how I want to make myself uh, look like, I guess. Um, yeah. And I think that this sketchbook is really going to help me figure out who I am. Uh, just because I, I kind of have a lost identity right now. If that makes sense like I'm so used to people telling me like how I'm supposed to act and all that and I kind of mixed what people wanted from me with who I want to be and I just kind of want to be who I want to be you know what I'm saying um yeah now that I'm 18 I can finally like express myself through my clothes 
which I wear a lot of like graphic t-shirts so it's not going to be that hard but I do want to kind of find a few aesthetics that match me because I I do go by she her and I was um I'm a cis uh, a cis girl is that what I say and I'm I'm bisexual for any of you guys wondering but I I do have a boyfriend um yeah I I did well bisexual is just a label if I really had to put it under one really I'm on labeled I guess uh I do find women attractive but that's that's besides the point uh anyways so I I kind of do wear like the reason why I say I'm a cis female is because I do wear some clothes that make me feel like a little more masculine because I am very tomboy but then I also like dressing um what some of my friends used to call me a lumberjack lesbian uh which made me giggle uh which all my friends are lgbtq well all what well, one of my friend groups is primarily lgbtq so it's just funny hearing it from them um then i do have like a femme side which i will wear skirts and dresses i want to get into some like cottage core dresses because i do find those very pretty and i feel like i would fit the style quite well so i want to kind of draw myself in uh different clothing articles and see like if any of them really call out to me see if i can make like a dreamy outfit so yeah that's that's where that whole thing was going is that i want to dedicate a, a few pages to figuring myself out i also want to use a sketchbook to kind of design some characters to be in my dnd session that i'm going to be in and the dnd session that i'm going to be dming and then i want to also just like draw out some of my favorite characters that i happen to have like a uh, hyper fixation on like uh, monster high as everybody's seen i i don't remember exactly how that came back up um i think i probably watched a tiktok of the generation three and i was just like you know what let's watch generation three because i put it off this entire time and i haven't so i'm yawning and talking um, I didn't want to touch it because people are like, oh my gosh, it's so bad, it's so terrible, I hate how it is, and I'm like, guys, let, let me just take a little shot at it, let me look at it, and I did, I took a, I took a look at it, and honestly, it's, it's really good, it's, it's not like the original at all, which, if you don't think about the original and you just watch this one, you can like it, uh, but if you try and compare it to the old one, then you're not going to like it that much. You have to take it at its own face value. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to see some Monster High. Um, then I want to experiment my art style in this um, book too. And I really want to make some uh, vent artwork pieces, which I know that sounds kind of dumb. But um, to me, my vent art looks very pretty. Um, and it's very disguised. Like you wouldn't really be able to tell it's vent artwork unless if you really read deep into it which i will add in like the descriptions on like why i designed the vent artwork and why it resembles a certain type of vent because i i design very specific vent art styles whenever i'm in certain uh areas in life like one of my favorite paintings that i'm working on which i'll try and show you guys eventually it is also vent work um and it has a lot of meaning to me and yeah <laughs> and it looks so pretty and a lot of people enjoy it but they don't understand the background to it um i have two snake ocs that resemble vent artwork too and they're very pretty too and their name is opal and onyx um which resemble the dark parts of life and the light parts of life and that they're always intertwining because you can't always have good without any bad and you can't always have bad without any good because you wouldn't know the difference yeah <laughs> anyways so that there's that i also want to add in some vent artwork um i want to do some research pages because in my dm campaign i want i want to have some characters that are very knowledge based on some animals or like you know, design some characters that are based off of certain animals intertwined with other animals. So that way, you know, they have some, like, aspect besides just all fantasy-esque. 
Um, if that makes any sense. I also want to design some like weapon ideas because I've seen some people um, make weapons and it looks so cool. And I think that I could do it. Yeah. Um, then of course I want to work on any type of hyperfixation like I already said. Which uh, sharks will probably be in here because sharks is one of my favorite animals. Um, I have a whole separate list from uh, land animals versus like... Um, what's it called? Land animals versus water animals because if I did land in water, it would be a very different list than if they were separated and it would be harder for me to make a combination list because, you know, it's me. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Um, yeah. Then we're going to have the memories, which I already have a few memory pages, um, which is where I just write some, like, notes about some very spe specific, specific days. Oh, my goodness. Specific days that's happened uh, during the month because they are going to be month long. Then I have some, like, tags or some, like, receipts, maybe some note cards from the experiences that I did. Um, I know I have, like, a few Hot Topic stuff in there because I did do some Hot Topic stuff quite often uh then i'm gonna have my trip to universal and all that which i still need to make a video talking about my grad bash night because i haven't done that yet which uh maybe we'll do in the sketchbook who knows um yeah so there's all that i also want to experiment with uh, my art style a little because i haven't done that um and then also, just a very random page I want just to mess with my friends is that I want to draw them all as furries because I've seen people, like, do that, and I just find it really funny and cute, so why not? <sighs> um, I also want to do a bunch of redesigns. Well, not too many, but I do want to redesign the My Little Ponies, and I want to draw the My Little Ponies as humans because I've seen a lot of people do that, and I feel like I would have fun and enjoy doing that myself so that's something that i'm gonna look into doing um i don't have a big grand idea for most of them but i definitely do want to redesign a good few because i feel like some uh ha need to have some justice to their designs or just like not justice necessarily but they could definitely be tweaked and have a better look to them um rainbow dash being one because let me tell you she was she her and pinkie pie have always been two of my favorites um and i believe that i could change them up a little so that's what we're gonna do and then i also just want to design them as humans because i'm just having a really fun time drawing um humanoid characters like i'm literally doing some draw lps as humans ch challenge uh and i'm doing a collab on that which you guys should see a video, hopefully, after this video is posted or before this video is posted. I'm unsure. Anyways, while we're looking at this beautiful, beautiful page, I wanted to talk about the OCs that are on here. So we have Asuna, which is a character wearing the um, skull t-shirt, and he has the elf ears. We have Pipeline Punch in the wrong colors. We have a random snake, a guitar that goes for one of my OCs. Uh, we have Waffle, which is the pit bull with the one ear down and one ear up. Uh, we got Espert, which is Asuna's cat. We have a inky cap mushroom. Then we have these three, like, orbs that are pink, blue, and yellow. Uh, we have Strawberry, Blueberry, and Lemon. Uh, those are the three little characters, and they're all little cuttlefish. Uh, then we have my pony, Sona, which is Strawberry Shortcake. We have Eileen, uh, there's ramen, there's a whale shark, which the whale shark has like little stars or flowers on them, um, and it's three-toned, it like has an ombre effect that was poorly made with uh, some paint on top, which you guys will see in a second, because that's actually what we're working on at this current moment, isn't that crazy? Uh, we have strawberry shortcake, because that's Eileen's favorite dessert. Then we have a Sylveon Leafeon mix uh, creature. Uh, that's holding a uh, Kuromi plush in its hands, because um, I say so. Also, we have a Pipeline Punch flower, because I was really inspired by that flower. It's very pretty. Uh, we have a random little skateboard. Um, yeah, there's there's just a lot to look in on this page, which I love a lot. And then on the background, 
we have these like whimsical clouds which you guys can see I worked on it and uh, made it look interesting I guess I try to make it look um as good as possible um yeah then we're also going to be adding in my D and D L C, which is her first appearance, which her name is Reviri, which um stands for daydreaming. I forgot what her name meant for a second, and she has a whole reason why her name's that um, which uh we'll get to know eventually whenever I actually introduce you guys. Um, honestly, my favorite part so far about this whole drawing was the clouds, cause I didn't know exactly how I was gonna go about it, and I think I went. A pretty good direction with it um something i want to test out is if this uh paper can hold um watercolor because i want to try a watercolor drawing with like paint and do some mixed media which you guys will get to see um to be honest i don't really care for telling you guys this like i don't care if i like spoil it but um i am planning on making a deadpool uh, spread in my sketchbook because I just really love the Deadpool movie. Um, I did watch that, um, which there's already going to be a video coming out about it, hopefully somewhat near soon in the, um, present, um, which is nice, I think, I believe, um, but yeah. Deadpool spread. Um, I also want to incorporate some other, like, drawings in here, obviously, because this is a sketchbook, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I I have, like, a bunch of ideas for this, excuse me, but I definitely want to test out stuff in the sketchbook, which I said before, which you guys should always feel comfortable working outside your comfort zone, you know, <laughs> like, you should always want to push yourself outside your comfort zone, which I've already done in this sketchbook, and I've actually tested out a few things, and I think it came out very well. Um, then also, I believe full-heartedly that sketchbooks are kind of like a uh, time can't time capsule so for me i'm kind of just adding in some like important stuff um like i said memories being one um so i have a bunch of memory pages and i'm actually currently working on some other memory stuff and like deadpool that's gonna be like a memory thing even though it doesn't directly say in memory of whenever i watch deadpool it's just like guys i watched deadpool look at this drawing and then i'll probably like put a sticky note and be like watch deadpool da -da -da -da, with da -da -da -da. and then like my rating too but like i'm not gonna like make it part of the art piece because that's just that's dumb that's bogus so yeah um i also want to try and draw some like animals in here like kind of get under my comfort zone animal wise uh because i don't really draw animals that much but i would love to um which i'm going to do that whenever i draw my friends as furries because i i gotta bother them somehow how else are they gonna know i love them and think about them <laughs> um which i've already talked to them before and they they all know that i'm planning on doing that so that's pretty fun um but yeah i also kind of want to make like a like, a goal section, like, just what are some of my life goals, or not really, like, full life goals, but, like, what do I want to do while I have this sketchbook, um, because I don't know how long I'm going to have this sketchbook for, so I'm kind of just going to, like, ballpark range, and I'm going to have this sketchbook for about maybe a year, um, and I'm saying that because this sketchbook, I'm adding in, like, other sketchbooks into it, so it's going to have more pages than it already has, um, then also I'm pushing my art uh like my monster high page it took me about a week to complete and that was with a bunch of stops and goes of course but um I also was really trying to like push my art there and I wanted to work on it more so you know just like again getting out of my comfortability and working on stuff that um I would want to practice and then I also want to make this sketchbook thick because I don't have any thick sketchbooks yet sorry for saying thick like that I don't know if it bothered anybody but yeah um then also normally while I'm working in my sketchbook I'm playing Fortnite because um I didn't get to play the whatever season it is currently whatever season it is um in July that's the season I didn't get to play um because I was traveling all summer 
which this sketchbook also has a lot of my uh, traveling in it since I had it June and July and I did take it with me. Even though I didn't really draw on it, I still did bring it because I knew I was going to have stuff to stick into like my memory capsule parts, which um, I need to finish those um, and add in everything. And I also want to add in some small doodles just so that way like uh, I could just be like, oh, what happened during this month? And then I see a certain doodle and be like, oh, and then like read the page about what happened. You guys know what I'm talking about? So like I have a bunch of ideas for this sketchbook and I'm very excited to work on it and slowly build it up, um, which the sketchbook tour is going to go crazy. Um, and I don't think I'm going to lose motivation to finish this sketchbook because I genuinely really, really like it. And I think it's one of my better sketchbooks. And yeah, this sketchbook was the first sketchbook I wasn't afraid to like break into. I kind of just jumped right in. I was like, okay, let's let's try this out. And I did. And I think it's coming out very beautifully. And yeah, nothing could change my mind on that. Um, But I do have to be careful with my phone storage currently. So like, <laughs> I'll be doing a bunch of clips, do the voiceover, and then uh, download the video. Like, this is my second time downloading the video. Um, so that way I can just, you know, continue going, I guess. Uh, yeah. Also, I've been watching a D&D &D campaign, too, which has really helped inspire me want to draw. Um, and it's Once Upon a Witch Light, and I'm only on episode 8, but they're about 3 hours long each, so. Yeah, and it's been helping me uh, figure out D&D &D campaign stuff, because I am going to be doing D&D, &D, and there's going to be some D&D &D stuff in my sketchbook, too, um. More than likely, just because I know myself. Uh, yeah. Anyways, here we're drawing my little self-insert OC, Eileen Wiggleberry. She's also the main character for my, uh, story, if you didn't know. And this is one of her newer outfits. Oh, excuse my yawn. Um, also, I forgot to color in her staff, so you guys won't see that till later, but, um... I think it's fine. I also tried something different with her shoes, which I don't know which one I prefer just yet. Um, so I guess I'll have to sit down and figure that one out because I actually have no idea which one I like better. Uh, which I think is completely fine. Um, also I'm still seeing like a bunch of like big gaps in between all this, so I'll have to figure out what else I want to add. But this video is already going to be like 40 minutes long. So, I won't be doing it this video, um, just because, yeah, I, I just don't want to have that long of a video to have to upload. And also, I don't know if people are going to want to watch a video that long, even. But yeah, um, breaking in the first page of my sketchbook. Also, um, the sketchbook, I don't know if I said this earlier, but, um, I actually discovered that I started it May 7th, 2024, so we are almost... Hold on, I can't do dates very well. Um, whew, I've got a yawn. I went to Texas Roadhouse today. Um, let's see. We're almost four months into using the sketchbook, which is kind of crazy to think about. Which would it would be really funny if I finished this on May seventh of twenty twenty five. You know, but um, yeah. Also, I really love the whale. Like I'm looking at it now, I'm just like I love the whale. Oh my gosh, we get to work on my little, um, pony Sona now, which her name's Strawberry Shortcake, because I found a love for Strawberry Shortcake. Um, I don't know why, to be honest with you. Um, but she came out very cute. I actually really love her. This is my first time drawing her in a sketchbook. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. I love how she came out, because I don't really have the right colors for her, but this drawing, I feel like I did use the colors pretty well. And figured out what I wanted a lot better. So, yeah, that's always good. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, while I'm doing the voiceover currently, I still have four more parts to color. Um, so, yeah, just whenever you think that, oh, the day is done. It's not. It's not done. But, yeah. Um, I feel like my character is very cute and pretty. Um, and nobody else can tell me otherwise. Uh, yeah. I also really like the inky cat mushroom. Um, I added in a little bit more details, which you can kind of see, like, I kind of just, like, identified where, um, some, I don't know, like, bumps would be better. Um, just because why not? 
Um, I thought it'd be better to showcase. It would be better to look like. Um, also, I add in a Pokemon ball. It's the heel ball. Um, I don't think it's in just yet. I think it's in the next clip. Uh, but I just really want to show my love for Pokemon because my Pokemon OC, uh, I color her in a minute. And I don't know. She's just, she's not what I want. Um, I feel like I can do more for her. Uh, here we are coloring her right now. Nope, I lied. It's it's actually the uh, strawberry shortcake. That's what we color. I'm also cutting up the videos a lot shorter, if humanly possible. Um, I don't know what I was trying to get with the strawberries, but I actually really like how they came out. Um, I'm going to go over it later with some white paint marker. Actually, I'll do that right now. Um, anyways, I added in some like white um, yellowish dots. Uh, I did a white undercoat and then put yellow on top, and I may go back over it with some white because... The yellow is just a little too much, so yeah, I'm going to add in a white on top of it again. But, uh, yeah. Oh, there's the heel ball. Uh, that's one of my favorite Pokeballs. I just like the design of it. Well, this is just unfortunate. Um, the yellow just got completely covered by the white. Oh, here I am doing the staff. Um, so for Eileen's staff, it actually has multiple poses, which I'm going to work on eventually don't know when uh but we'll figure it out um yeah because i like this staff but i think it needs an upgrade and then i also need her to have a scythe and spear so you guys get to see that um here's me working on the sylveon leafeon mix hybrid thing uh so we're gonna come back and just redesign her she's gonna stay like this in the sketchbook but i don't know she definitely needs something to help her out um i'm gonna just try and mess with it a little bit um and yeah hope for the best i guess but we'll do like a whole redesign video oh the sound of the marker just absolutely scratched like nails on a chalkboard okay i don't like a green mossy cape and it kind of looks better but now there's just a random green in here so i'm just like Huh, yeah, so maybe we'll do a whole design a Pokemon OC with me because I am going to plan on making a Pokemon trainer. So, yeah, I have no idea whenever that's going to be. Um, But I've been wanting to design a Pokemon trainer, and I did it in the past, but I didn't like how it was. Um, Yeah. Teehee. Um, anyways, I'm going to take a pause for the night of just working in the sketchbook. I'm going to finish this section of the voiceover, though. So yeah, because I'm almost done with it, but I also want to come back to it. Um, and I managed to shrink it down already to about 30 minutes. So yeah, we'll see how long the end video is. But um, I I have big hopes and dreams for this sketchbook. I really do. Um, I think it's going to be the best sketchbook I've ever had, which that should be every time you upgrade your sketchbook. But um, the sketchbook... Uh, left high school with me, went on a journey with me across the United States, and um, now it's going to go into uh, my college with me. So I'm very excited. Um, and it's kind of just like my comfort place. Like if I feel like overwhelmed, overstressed, I'm just going to go here, which is very good, I believe. Um, but yeah, I start school August 5th, so I don't know how much I'll actually get to enjoy my sketchbook once whenever I'm in school because I'm also trying to get a job. That way I can get some money. Money, money, money. Um, yeah. Also, this cat is no longer Velo or Esper. It's just a random little cat. Um, because I kind of want my character to have a cat too. Because I have a whole bunch of lore idea for her and her having a bunch of animals. So, yeah. Maybe we'll get an update on who that cat is. I don't know. It would be pretty cool though to know who the cat is. And, like, make lore for it. And whatnot. Anyways, we're starting to color in Reviri, um, which I'll have to work on tomorrow, which for you guys will be like within a few seconds I'll be working on her again. But I need to find a way to fill out all of these little empty spots. Yeah. Okay, it is finally the last day. It's 7 28, 2024, which means July 20th, 2024. So we're finally finishing up Reviri, which uh, she didn't come out how she was supposed to, but I think it's okay. Um, but yeah, you guys will get to see her eventually, so I'm not too worried about how she looks in the sketchbook. 
Um, you guys will just have to wait and see her. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but that means that we have two characters on this page with pretty much the same design, um, for, like, the tail, which you'll understand what I mean in a second. But, uh, yeah, you guys get to see her hair that she beholds. Um, it's pink. And then she's the first character who incorporates orange more. Like, the first character that actually incorporated orange into the design was, um, Sprout. Um, if anybody remembers who Sprout is. But I think that I did this page very well. I feel like everything flows very well together besides the Sylveon. Um, the Sylveon kind of angers me because it just throws everything off over in this section. But I still like looking at everything. I still look at, like still like looking at all the little details. Um, eventually, I'll add in a little bit more here and there. I'm thinking about adding in more of the star signs because I added in the Sagittarius star sign because that's my star sign. And... I thought it'd be, like, a cute little factor to add in. So, yeah, I'm thinking about adding in the other star signs and, like, dark blue, dark pink, and dark purples. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And it would all be in the clouds because that's where uh, mine is at. So, yeah, that's the little thing I was thinking about doing. Um, but, yeah, we just have to finish up Revere and then we work on Waffle, which I'm also realizing I need to figure out a concept design for Waffle because... I don't really know what he looks like in my book yet, and I also need to make a design for a few other animal characters that are going to be in the book, but here you can see I chose these brown colors, because I do know I want Waffle to be in uh, brown and cream colors, um, but yeah, I need to just figure out something, but this page is super cool, I really like how it came out, it's very pleasing for me to look at, I really love the coloration of Ramen in here, um, I think I'm going to change her color palette to be those colors, because they're still the brown colors, um, but I just, I think these browns are so much better than the, um, toned down browns I have her as. Anyways, here's a little review of the page, and that's going to be everything from me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and yeah, comment what your favorite thing is. Goodbye!